We're going to go on a magical journey. Oh boy, magical journeys. You ready for a magical journey? I am ready for a magical journey. A magical Christmas adventure? Yes. He's off on his magical adventure, Hope. You can join me, you know. Oh, okay. Hey there. Good timing. Can you do me a favor? Uh, uh, that's a giddy up buttercup. Wow. Yep, that's me. I'm one of those. And you must be a human. I've heard all about you and your four ants. Fighting, fleeing, feeding, and mating. Mm, yes, fornicating. Um, I've never seen a fully autonomous giddy up buttercup before. Yeah. My name is Sugarloaf. And I bark sometimes. I pant too. Wet wear issues. Nothing you need to worry about though. Oh, no, there's wet wear issues. I promise I won't bite. Okay, well, you said you needed help with something? Yeppers. You see that note stuck to the sign? It requires a pep boy device to read. Or whatever those things are called. I think I smell one on you. As far as I can tell, it seems to be encoded in a frequency I can't hear. But you should have no problem with that. You look like a cool cat. So, would you mind scanning the note and listening to the tape so you can tell me what it says? I really want to know. Sure. She can't read, apparently. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Looking for an easy seasonal job? If so, Santa needs your help. Come visit us at Trinity Point for more details. That's kind of vague, but okay. So? What was it about? It says that Santa needs our help and you can meet him at some place called Trinity Point. This must be about finding reindeers to carry presents around. That sounds like loads of fun. How very lucky for us. Trinity Point is kind of far away, but I know just the way to get there. Please, please, come along with me. I think I may need some help. My dog wetware may get me in trouble. And wouldn't you want to meet Santa? What do you say? Will you travel with me? Is wetware like the biological bits of dog they jammed into you? It's a bit complicated, but... My central processing unit tends to show some... Dog-like behavior. And... Well, it has put me in danger sometimes. Sometimes you just gotta chase that car, no matter who or what gets in the way. <laughs> oh, okay. You <laughs> I guess that, that makes sense. This seems a bit sudden, though. We're gonna do some Christmas adventures in Good Springs. Yeah, and by Christmas adventure, I mean get drunk at the bar. You only live once, so put a bird in the bush. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I haven't heard that turn of phrase, but sure, okay, we'll yeah. We'll go put that bird in that bush. Yay. You're the best. Aw, I'll thank mark you. the location of this boat we can use on your Popeye. That was the name, right? Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> I can't remember if the boat was in good shape, though. But if we bring some flame or fuel, we should be able to jumpstart it. Two canisters to do. Oh, and give me that note you scanned so I can get rid of it. Wouldn't want other volunteers to beat us to the punch. Am I right? Um... Let's go then. Onwards to victory. And also, make sure you don't tell anybody where we're going, or that we're leaving, or when we will be back. That's hey, not... random guy, my name is Zach, and this is Mike. Th no, that's Hope. <laughs> this is Mike, right here. Uh, we're going with this dog horse to some place called Trinity Point. So if one of us turns up dead in a ditch somewhere, it's the horse's fault. Tis the season for singing terribly perverted Christmas songs. Dashing through the sand with a shotgun in my hand. Killing legionnaires any way I can. Probably with a shotgun since that's a weapon you're equipped with. Yeah. Shoot them in the face. Spread their guts all over the place. Family friendly song this is. Tear off all their heads and stick them by your bed. Men in skirts wearing red better shoot them dead. Legionnaires are over there. Now that's a lay clerk. He had to change the lyrics because of you. Yeah, and then it didn't rhyme because of you buttheads. Here we ah! are. So, do you have the flamer fuel? Y yeah, I got it. Awesome. I knew I could count on you. I'll wait for you here. Let me know when you're done pouring it in and we'll depart. Oh, and by the way, I've stashed away some clothes for you in the duffel bag over there. I'd recommend you wear them, but it's your choice. 
If it's a bunny suit again, Zach already tried that once. I'm not falling for it a second time. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Oh, it's got a little bed. This is a nice little boat. I could definitely see myself living out of this thing. Maybe not with three other people, but... No, not with three other people. Maybe just by myself. Yeah, <laughs> not bad, eh? I mean, it's not terrible. Oh, that sweater, though. Oh, <laughs> yeah. God. And now that I'm wearing it, I realize it's real itchy. But considering it's going to be very cold where we're headed... We're oh, it's so itchy! We're probably going to want to have these layers. It's itchy! You just got to have to deal with itchy! it. Itchy! The best part about wool is that even if it gets wet, it's still good at insulating. Unlike Ugh. cotton. What's well, made out of wet? No! No! <laughs> <laughs> Tricked him. <laughs> Filled the engine with fuel, did you? Yes, it is filled. We're all set. So, got any questions before we go? Several. I need to know more about Trinity Point before we leave, please. I guess that's fair. Well, for one, it's really cold. And, well, that's all I know about it. <laughs> but it shouldn't be dangerous. Isn't this exciting? Wait a minute, hang on, hang on. Lake Mead is landlocked? How are we planning on going anywhere? Tis the magic of the season, of course, you silly goose. Is it a magical flying boat? Maybe, use your imagination. This boat is really well equipped. Are you telling me it just happened to be here, waiting for us? Okay, okay, I find the truth a bit. I have been preparing for a trip like this for a long time, and getting this boat ready for it took forever. I'm the captain of this vessel, and I want to take you on a cruise. Come along and ride on a fantastic voyage. Anyway, hope you like the bedroll and stuff. It'll be cold, so I wanted to make sure anyone coming along would be comfortable. Aw, you're the best Captain Sugarloaf. How long is it going to take for us to get there? Two or three days. Oh. So, if you're the eating kind, make sure you stuff yourself before we leave. But don't get seasick later. That could get yucky. Don't eat anything gross. You know, I said that, that it wouldn't be bad living on that boat, but not if it's going to be two or three days with you and Hope. And Captain Sugarloaf. You know Santa doesn't exist, right? Shut up. Of course he exists. I even saw him once. But I was too scared to talk to him. He's tall like you and all. He's real. You'll see. Normally Santa lives at the North Pole and not a place called Trinity Point. Maybe they're the same place. That's how nobody found him. What do you mean by that? Because people have looked at the North Pole and they don't find Santa's workshop there. But if you just told everyone it was the, the North Pole, oh. but it was really in the middle of the Mojave Desert where no one would check. Brilliant, yeah. <laughs> On the topic of putting things where they're not supposed to be is a way of hiding them. <laughs> yeah. I had one of those hide key rocks outside of my door, but I didn't keep a key in it. I just had a note in there that said, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> They're very obvious that it's a rock. The only way it blends is if you put it with a bunch of other rocks, and then you can't find the damn thing. <laughs> so I just put it right out in front of my house. If you would pick it up to try and break into my house to get the key, it just said, fuck you. Did anyone ever fall for it? I didn't really ever check to make sure it was in the same spot when I came back, which I probably should have. <laughs> now it's a time capsule somewhere. <laughs> 70 years later, someone's going to find it. 400 years in the future, the scientist is going to be like, this rock is strange. It seems to be made of some type of... Polymer, it's... Wait, there's something inside it. Dear God, what does it say? Fuck you. I've decided to quit being a scientist. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I have serious doubts about the seaworthiness of this vessel. No need to worry. I spent a long time working on it. You have hooves. And we got plenty of buckets on hand to get the water out. I... <laughs> you see the windows? I spent literal hours working on them. They're even bulletproof. We'll be fine. Trust me. Not too worried about the bulletproofness of the windows, but it is yeah. liable to capsize. Well, I guess it's time to set sail. Oh, boy. The time has come. Let me just say, though, that I'm really happy you've joined me. I would be terrified to go on my own. Okay, then. You can snuggle into the bedroll there and I'll take the wheel. We what? can chat during the trip if you want. I know some really good jokes. Let's get this show on the water road. Just gotta test the engine here. Why don't we leave the driving to people who have opposable thumbs? No, okay. Guess the horse is driving. Horse has hooves. Horse has hooves. <laughs> Watch out for that buoy. Ah, ah, oh, oh my god. Wait, sea mine. Sea mine. Sea mine. Turn left. All this screaming is exhausting me. I think I'm gonna go to sleep. Okay, I'm gonna keep screaming for a while. No, port. Turn to port. Wake up. Sleepy. Oh, that's a cute hat. <laughs> 
Road trip's over. I thought it would take longer. Yep. Didn't take nearly as long as I planned. About two days. That's good. Now, welcome to Trinity Point. So chilly. Glad I got this hat. My central processor is up there and I don't think it likes the cold. As long as I keep my head warm, I'm all good. Real shame you snoozed all through the trip, gotta say. You missed out on a really cool adventure. <laughs> you were in a coma for two days? I was passed out for quite a while. We almost got overturned by a big whale. And there were really tall waves in the open sea that almost sank us, but I managed to beach the boat. I don't... I scavenged for some more supplies and then we were on our way again. Uh... And, after a while, there were so many flows. I thought we were done for. A storm started too and you actually fell overboard. <laughs> I was terrified. I had to jump in to rescue you and then I lost the boat. <laughs> but I found it later. <laughs> then we arrived here. I... It's all true. <laughs> you can believe me. Sounds true. I'd never lie to you. Captain Sugarloaf, you're my hero! <laughs> I don't recall falling off the boat in open water. But you were in a coma, so you wouldn't know. Does Hope remember this? She was powered down the entire time. Ah, dang it. Do you remember this? I was in a coma too! Dang! So, Santa should be in here somewhere? Yepers. He lives here. I'm sure he won't mind if we explore a bit before we talk to him, but let's not delay. We're here on a mission. I hope we don't get stuck in this place forever, and I hope Hope doesn't either. Of course not. The boat fared well, despite everything. We may need some more fuel though, because we're out. But if anything, we could always swim. I, I won't <laughs> be swimming. <laughs> if it takes us three days to get here on a boat, how long do you think it's going to take us to swim back? Probably three days before we drown. Well, time's wasting. Agreed. Santa should be in his cabin <laughs> over there. All right, let's check out this new area. So welcome to what? the new area. Penguins! <laughs> Penguins! This has got a little hat. <laughs> it's amazing! Oh my god, I love penguins. Penguins are so great. So, probably not North Pole. No, probably not North Pole, but penguins, Mike! Penguins! Penguins are amazing! I think these are emperor penguins, too. I think so, but emperor penguins are real big, though. Oh, maybe they're baby emperor penguins. Oh, uh, maybe. <laughs> I, love, I love his hat. They're so adorable. A festive pitchfork. Carrot juice. Peanut brittle. A gingerbread house set. All the accoutrements. Milk chocolate biscuits. And a thing of nails? <laughs> That's not very Christmassy, but... Oh my god, they're eggs! We wouldn't pick the penguins' eggs. Oh no, I'm no, not going to no. take their eggs. I will take the Sordinate Tankard, though. I'm going to get drunk out of it later. <laughs> it's so nice! Aw, oh, look at the presents and the snowman! I put a lot of love into this one. Oh wow, there's a bunch of giddy-up buttercups. Uh-huh. They're real big. Those are big ones, yeah. A switchblade. How festive. <laughs> Nothing says Christmas like a switchblade. Nothing says festivities like, I'm a gotcha! Penguin meat? What? No! What? It's no! Rude. No! Those penguins! No! -uh. Who? No! I'm protect- No, that's my only job now. I live here and I protect the penguins. Did Santa carve up one of these penguins? I swear to God, Santa, if you carved up those penguins, you are gonna get butchered. You're not gonna kill Santa for killing a penguin. I'm gonna kill Santa for killing a penguin! Oh, it's marshmallow fluff. <laughs> All the things you can make sweets with, yes. Whenever Pa got to preaching too hard, Ma used to say, put your prayers in one hand and your doo-doo in the other and see which fills up first. But Pa always said, a miracle only has to happen once, and it'll fill you up higher than any mountain of you-know-what. What Christmas things have you enjoyed? What's your favorite Christmas meal? My favorite Christmas meal is probably ham. Ham is pretty good. Like a honey baked ham. No, my mother always made spiral cut sugar cookies, family sugar cookies. Ooh, sugar cookies are nice. I always really liked uh fruit cake. Is that what you're going to say? You're going to say no, fruit cake. No, not fruit cake. I'm not really a fan of fruit cake. I can't imagine why. My family has like a white elephant gift exchange and there is a fruit cake that has been passed around for the last 10 years. <laughs> it's a running joke. Yeah, I really liked honey baked ham. Ooh, and cinnamon rolls. We always do cinnamon rolls really? on Christmas. Yeah. Huh. That's not what I would imagine to be a Christmassy food, but if it was presented for Christmas, I'd eat it probably. Yeah, it's, when I was a kid, we always had cinnamon rolls every Christmas. Nice. 
Let's check out Santa's cottage. Hey, is that Santa Claus? Ah! Santa's not real though! Santa's a robot! Look at all the Christmas decorations he's got in his house. Also a briefcase and a bunch of cigarettes. And, uh, smokers need to have a gift too, you know. The Also the Minimax Spanish Dictionary. <laughs> um. Yeah, 101 canciones para contarse. I don't know what that means. Cort cortarse? Adventures with your pocket calculator. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good lord. Look at the stuffed mouse toy. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Oh my god, that is hilarious. <laughs> so many good things around here. Is that a dragon toy? What, where? <laughs> there's a little wooden sword and a spinning top. <laughs> so many cool things. Man, there's a bunch of this. Whoever made this mod put a lot of time and effort into making all these things in here. It's a Santa bobblehead. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. I like those boots. Who's. Uh, wait. These are Santa's shoes. One's a pair of boots, which makes sense because he's Santa. like this robot Santa killed the real one. Whose sneakers are these? Some nice flowers over here. I remember when I was a kid, when I finally found out that Santa wasn't real, my parents did something that was actually probably really smart, is that all the sucky stuff that you get for Christmas that you don't really want as a kid, like socks and underpants and clothes, mm -hmm. uh, my parents said was from Santa, and all the good <laughs> stuff was from them. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. So then when the kid finally finds out that Santa isn't real... They're just like, oh, I don't care. Santa only got me socks and stuff. <laughs> nice, yeah. And now that I'm older, I love getting socks for Christmas. I wish Santa were real so I could have some decent pairs of socks around I know, here. right? I look forward to getting socks for Christmas every year. Hello, Robo Santa. Why are you a robot? Who do we have here? Wait, you know, I know a robot that looks just like you. Yes, he's the C-137 model as well. That's what I used to make Vincent's chassis. Well, my name is Zach. Uh, this is Mike. Hope is downstairs, and I'm guessing that you're Santa. I am, indeed. It is a pleasure to meet you. You seem to be here with a giddy up and tow. It is a bit small, but if it is willing to prove its worth, I may have some use for it. That sounded slightly sinister. Well, let's just start at the beginning. You know, it's our first time meeting Santa, and I've always wanted to meet you. Can you tell us more about yourself? How'd you become a robot? No, what's with the penguins outside? Aren't we in the North Pole? No, we are not. I would think the presence of penguins would make it obvious, but this does not seem to be the case. <laughs> Perhaps I should put up a sign. Yeah, I'm not bright. <laughs> anyway, what Mike said earlier. I live here in Trinity Point. And once a year I send out my reindeer to distribute presents to robotic folk. Sometimes I travel with them. If I am not out doing deliveries, I can be found here, southbound and isolated. I used to have a partner, but that is no more. Such is my fate. Santa used to do this with a friend too, but I guess not anymore. What can you tell me about Trinity Point? There is not much to say. I'm sure you have already seen all there is to see. It is cold, snowy, and nothing interesting ever happens. This Santa sounds very dire. Not great. He doesn't sound like the jolly Santa that I imagined. Do you live alone here? How do you sustain- well, I guess you're a robot. I am not completely alone. <laughs> you may have seen my feathered friends outside. Thug life. And my reindeer are here too, dormant until their assistance is needed. Fortunately, I do not need to eat food, which would be a problem and I have my ways of trading supplies. That certainly helps. If you don't have to eat food to survive, who's been mutilating penguins around here? You have a really nice cottage. Thank you. As you may imagine, we do not get many visitors around here, so your kind words are appreciated. If you're Santa, can I have a present? Seems like you have been good enough this year. Yay! So sure. And what about me, Santa? You didn't give me a gift. You have been naughty this year, so not today. Oh. But, I will consider your proposal. Okay, well, how is Sugarloaf gonna have to test her worth? Through a series of tests. Going around the wasteland distributing valuable presents requires strength, skill, and good processing power. My own reindeer will engage in fierce combat with this friend of yours, and if it is victorious, I will allow it to go for some deliveries. What? If it manages to survive throughout the whole ordeal, I will allow it to become a permanent part of my team. I think that sounds fair. <laughs> I... Okay. I'm sorry, did you just say combat? I don't think Santa normally 
makes people engage in combat. It's part of every Christmas lore. I don't like the sound of these things. Will she be alone during these tests, or can we help her? You will have to help it. I am sure my reindeer shall not have trouble dealing with you too. <laughs> what can I say? Things can get really monotonous around here. I will look forward to seeing both of you get mauled to death. <laughs> okay! <laughs> yes. It's so much worse when it's Santa saying these things in a horrible robotic voice with glowing eyes that never blink. I, I'm looking forward to this. Let's get started, shall yeah, we? Yeah, let's get started. Prove our worth to Santa. I'm going to discuss this with her first. Suit yourself. But keep in mind that I do not enjoy wasting time. Okay, sure enough, we need to go. We need to go right now. Let's go. Get out of the house! What? He locked the door! He locked the door! He locked the door! We're stuck in here with a murderer! Did I hear that right? Are we gonna be fighting here? Oh, no! What kind of combat skills do you have? This is important! <laughs> well, uh... I can bite, I guess. Can you? Sometimes I can kick. And... That's about it. I don't see a jaw. Are you sure you can bite? Well, there's that seam there. What if it just, like, opens <laughs> oh up God. like an eldritch monstrosity? <laughs> uh, are you scared? Of course I am. I'm not nearly that strong. I thought I'd have to sign some papers or something, <laughs> but not this. Luckily for you, Sugarloaf, we can help you and- We are both very experienced in engaging in single combat. And by single combat, I mean Mike and I shoot at things at the same time. Well, I guess that as long as you help me, we should manage. Even if we both suck, two is better than one, right? <laughs> yeah, and four is better than two! Hooray, Matt! Hooray! Alright, do you have any nuggets of wisdom before we start? How about we don't die, for starters? That would be nice. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, that was mean. Well, I do have these, so take them. Experimental grenades I put together the other day. <laughs> Maybe they'll help? What? If we survive, I'll write the crafting recipe for these so you can make more. Oh. I haven't put it down on paper yet. <laughs> bobble grenades? Did you combine a Christmas bobble with an explosive? Well, let's do this. How festive. Okay, okay. With your help, I'm sure we'll make it. I trust you. But just in case we don't, sorry I got you into this mess. I didn't really expect this, I promise. I don't think anybody expected this. No, I definitely didn't expect Santa to be a robot. I didn't expect you to wear a hat. And also, I think Hope has gotten us in more trouble than, than this, so. Yeah, it's no big deal. We've, we've gotten ourselves out of stickier situations. Oh, look, it's a vault tech. I was gonna vault bobblehead inside the vault tech stocking. Oh, uh, what? Every, right. Everybody gets shampoo for Christmas, whether they like it or not. Shaving creams and kits. Yeah, it's a hollow log. I don't think I've seen that before. That's kind of uh, cool. Oh, look, the grenade looks like a little tree ornament. <laughs> yup. Looking forward to see that in combat. Look at all these pictures and things he's got on his shelves. Dang, he's got a bunch of stuff. He's got a bunch of pictures of... Maybe that's him when he was younger. When back he... when he wasn't a robot. Back when he had skin. Can I help you? Yeah, all right. Well, let's get started then. Good, good. Please follow me outside. I shall make the necessary preparations for proceeding further, and then the games will begin. You'll be given more details once we're there. Come on. Yes. Let's... Are these the reindeer games that they're talking about? Exactly. Let's join in some of these reindeer I games. I feel like that was taken from Skyrim. Alright, well, I guess we'll go step outside and get murdered. Here we are. Ready. What exactly is going to be happening here? My four reindeer, Airbus, Terror, Argo, and Overlord. Will engage in combat Those with are you interesting names. to the death. To the death! Needless to say, if you die, you lose. What? If you survive, make sure to take the trophies before you carry on. Once you have the four trophies, the trial will be finished. Easy enough, uh... you do not say. I am sure even your small brain can understand it. <laughs> Why you have to be so mean, Santa? This is okay. Why are we killing your reindeer? Do we really have to do this trial? I will make sure to make the combat extra difficult for you. Just because you asked such a pointless question. <laughs> oh, good lord. God, why? Uh, can we get some extra help? I don't know if the four of us will be good enough. No. But I may throw you a stink but now and then, if I feel like it. No promises. You're so considerate. Alright, thanks. Let's get started then. What is this strange feeling? It 
may be excitement. That is good. I have felt dead inside for too long. A fun blood bit should fix it. Go on in and ring the bell when you are ready to start. May that best edit be win. Let's do it! Trial number one! Ah! Ah! Erebus! Yes! Oh my god! So, seems effective. Seems probably, like that works! Probably not great for close force combat, though. Yay! Uh, right, well, here's Erebus's antler. Ow! Why do they explode when they die? Sugar Loaf is, um, downed, thanks to you. Yeah, well, Don't I probably shouldn't have thrown the grenade. <laughs> you got peaches scattered around. Okay, well, that was interesting. I guess start the next one. Ah, oh, there's another one! There's another one! Yeah, Christmas terror, all right. Christmas bells, Christmas bells, holy crap, it's a robot horse! Shoot it in the back and please don't kill me! Oh my god, they have a terrifying mouth. <laughs> yeah, oh god! Ow! Uh, I'm blind again, okay. Easy enough, two down, two to go. And it's Argo! Oh, he's got a Santa hat on. Go shoot Hope in the back. Shoot this thing in the back. It knocked over Mike. Oh my god, it's mad! The way they flail about after you kill them is so horrifying. Oh, my eyes were still open! I'm not smart. <laughs> okay, last one. God, he's ah, He's got a red nose! Yeah! Also, he's much larger than the other ones, and the other ones were already Overlord pretty large. Red Nose Robot Horse! He wasn't really a horse at all! He liked to kill the children, and bury them headfirst in the snow. That doesn't rhyme. God! Ow. Every time. Every time. Every time. We killed your reindeer, and now that means that you have, uh... No way to deliver presents. Yeah, nice work, Santa. Genius. Well done. Color me impressed. What are you gonna do now that your reindeer are dead? The fact they failed means they were worthless. I do not care a dead weight. Your little friend will have to manage the deliveries all by itself. Oh. Is that not what it wanted all along, anyway? No, it wanted to be part of the team. Yeah, it wanted to be helpful. I guess that wasn't nearly as difficult as I expected. Talk is cheap. You may have survived this, but who was to say you will not trip and crack your head open on the pavement? You are simply lucky. I'm curious about the purpose of these trophies. If your friend wants to work for me, it must look the part. I will fasten these attachments to its chassis so everyone knows what it is supposed to be doing, and to make it recognizable in case it misbehaves. Okay, now what? It is time for the attachments to be affixed to your friend's framework. I have the required equipment in my cottage. I don't like how most of this is going. Sherloaf, what do you think? I have some misgivings about this. <laughs> really? Just a few? What, what are you thinking? Doesn't he strike you as a bit mean? <laughs> yeah! Santa, that is. I didn't think it would be like this. It's like he doesn't care. Don't worry, I'm sure everything will be fine. I don't think so, but okay. I'm still not sure, but I guess it's not like it will make any difference. Let's just get it done with. As I said before, I trust you. Welcome to Santa's team, Sugarloaf. Also, you are the team now. This is getting dark real fast. So... Do you have the attachments on your person? Question one, will this procedure be safe? Question the possibility of things going wrong is rather low, so do not concern yourself. Why would you even care, anyway? Robots do not have feelings. I should know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here they are. Excellent. This should not take long. Bring your friend here and I will turn off its vocalizations for a moment. I would rather not hear it scream. <laughs> oh god. What?! God, what are you doing to your own no. Oh, oh my god! My work is complete. Your friend is ready and I have plugged the itinerary into the details to its database. Come back when you are done. Good day. Okay. How are you feeling, Sugarloaf? <laughs> oh, you look ridiculous. So much pain. 
My data is all scrambled. <laughs> Sensory overload. Where am I? You're looking really festive there. Good, good. These are a bit heavy, but I'm feeling confident here. This was my dream all along. Okay, well, did that hurt? I'm pulling a data blank. I guess I must have been disabled during the procedure. But thanks for worrying about me. You probably wiped your own memory because it was so horrifying. Okay, well, Santa said he uploaded the info into your database. Did he? Let me check. Maybe that's why my data is scrambled. Gotta run a quick defragment of my data drive. Give me a second. Defragging. <laughs> God, it's an act. Yep, those are noises I'm familiar with. Santa has three robots down in the Mojave who will be waiting for presents. We gotta deliver. Should be a piece of cake, right? I have them in my bag. Uh. We hand him over and come back here when we're done. He also gave me this. This special fuel should make it a lot faster to get back and forth. About an hour or so. Not bad at all, don't you think? And one last thing. Since you'll be driving, you'll need this key. To start the boat, just open the wheel panel and twist the wires together. Easy. Sure, I guess. I, this fuel must be some seriously heavy stuff. Seems like it. I'd never seen it before. Do you think it's dangerous? Probably. We should be careful with it, it's just in case. It's probably super dangerous. It's probably um, jet fuel is what it is. No, it's nuclear fuel. Oh, nuclear jet fuel. Even more dangerous. Mm-hmm. So, the robots are going to be delivering presents to you. Are they going to be friendly? Willens is a protectron in Boulder City. Ellsworth is a Mr. Handy in Prim. And Bokella is an I bought at the NCR Sharecropper Farms. That's all. Okay, those are pretty innocuous locations, and those robots won't necessarily be dangerous. Okay, what exactly are we delivering? Something very valuable, I'm told. So don't get tempted to steal it, you hear? We gotta hand these in. Otherwise, we'll mess things up. Can't believe she would accuse us of such a thing. Yeah. Do we seem like the dishonorable sorts? Also, I thought we'd be giving out more than just three presents. Same here. But I don't mind it much. I'd rather not spend hours and hours on this, you know? That would get boring really quickly. Wait, no, this is what you wanted the whole time, so why wouldn't- Okay, whatever. I'm just, <laughs> we're gonna gloss over that. I guess I can understand getting bored with doing your dream after like 10 minutes. Wait, I have to hotwire the boat? It's an old boat, okay? Give me a break here. It's perfectly safe, you got my word. I would never make something purposefully explode on ya, would I? I mean, technically the grenades purposefully explode. Yeah, that's exactly explode. what I'm thinking of, the baubles you yeah, gave him. Yeah, those, those purposefully explode. I guess this is what you wanted the whole time, are you nervous? A bit, yeah. But, I don't know. I just feel a bit unsure about Santa's attitude. But maybe that's just me. He must be a busy guy. I'm sure once we've delivered these presents, that'll bring a smile to his face. Metaphorically. Oh, okay. Metaphorically. Metaphorically. Yes. Well, I guess I'm ready if you are. You betcha. I have the presents right here and them all dressed up too. You'll have to wear this festive hat I got for you, as well. No time to waste. Let's go! <laughs> it's pretty well, festive, all right, yeah. I feel festive, I guess. <laughs> Have a holly jolly Christmas. Christmas. It's, it's the best time of the year. year. Open bolt wheel panel to Mojave Wasteland. Yeah, just tweak it a little bit. All right, we'll just kind of, kind of, ow. Ack. Ack. Ah, they're back. They're back. Hello. Merry Christmas. Have a good Christmas. Happy Christmas. We're Jewish. We actually celebrate Hanukkah. That's the target location number one to Boulder City. Boulder City. What Christmas traditions do you have? Um, we would always open one present on Christmas Eve. I've heard a couple of families do that. You just get to open one present, and then Christmas morning, you get up, you go downstairs to where the stockings are, you take all the stuff out of the Christmas stocking, and then you have to wait four hours before you're allowed to open Christmas presents. That's a bit of an odd... And you get yelled at if you suggest opening the Christmas presents. Maybe not all traditions are worth remembering. You also get yelled at because one time when you were nine years old, you took a bunch of candy that was left over out of one of your sister's Christmas stockings, and then they, they never let that go, and it just keeps getting brought up again and again and again every single year. I hope Zach doesn't steal candy from his sisters again like that one time he did that 
when I was nine years old. So, fond memories, yes? Yeah, fond memories. Fond memories. No, but seriously, any happy memories? Do you have any of those? You know what those are? I hate Christmas, Mike. Do you? (laughs) (laughs) I think I see the robot in Vincent's old spot. Oh, yes, the robot. Have you been a good robot this year? Oh, he's from Vault 111. I do not believe we have met before. No, we haven't, but I'm trying to give you a Christmas... Oh, I guess Sugarloaf has to do it. Sugarloaf, stop scratching yourself. Hi. <laughs> Who are we dealing with first? Woodland, a protectron in Boulder City. I would assume he'd be near the saloon. He is. We should search there. Well, that's where we are. Don't be so worried. As long as you are wearing your festive hat and we're out together, we'll be fine. And, of course... It should go without saying that you need to have one of these gift bars on you before talking to the giftees. Oh. I mean, not right? A pleasure to meet you. What may I do for you? Um. Tell us about yourself, Williams. I have been given explicit instructions to stay here. The master can really be a bother sometimes. That's a bummer. Well, here's your present. Enjoy. Oh, thank you. I am ready to process our transaction. <laughs> yeah. Hooray! We delivered a present! We're real Christmasers! Who's his master? I'm curious. I don't know, but he didn't... Protect and serve. Oh, now we just turned into Prim Slim. <laughs> yeah! We're done with Williams. Who's next? Ellsworth, a Mr. Handy and Prim. I'd assume he'd be near the casino, but I'm not sure. Hmm. He's a good boy who loves to gamble. Let's go find him! I like his backwards baseball hat. <laughs> pa- no, do not enter, parents. Dead. <laughs> he's got a bunch of spray paint, and he's just been tagging the wall. Yeah. What do you want, old jeezer? Uh, <laughs> did you just call me a jeezer? <laughs> he did. <laughs> Why don't you tell me about yourself, Ellsworth? Why do you care? I hate being here. I want to go home. You got my present or not? <laughs> mm, you got some attitude on you. Get out of town. I gotta fight the big man. You're too old and wouldn't understand. (laughs) You know what? I'm sorry to inform you that you're not getting anything this year. Like I give a toss about your stupid presents. I'm not a kid anymore. Go away. I don't think we should give him a present. Hi. I guess Ellsworth didn't really want his present. You can't please everyone, it seems. I'd say you can keep it then. Let's go talk to Bukella at the NCR Sharecropper Farms, and we'll be done. Did we do a bad thing by not delivering that platinum bar? I don't know if this guy was a bad guy. Maybe we should have given him the gift after all. Who are we to decide who's been good and who's been bad? That's true. Go away, you fossil. Uh, he just called me a fossil, so... (laughs) Okay, let's get out of here. Hey. NCR hat. <laughs> Salutations, soldier. Well, that's a lot of ribbons. And the goggles. Wow, he served in so many wars. Dang. Uh, is there anything I should know about you, Bakella? I am ready to serve an even eye for my country. Made in the USA. We are lean. We are mean. We are also fighting machines. Yes, you are a fighting machine. What's nah. with those goggles, though? <laughs> a good uniform must be worn with pride, soldier. Always looking sharp and proper. Here's your present. Enjoy. Alert, alert. Suspicious package spotted. Neutralizing. <laughs> what? Package destroyed. <laughs> Are you trying to stir trouble, you disgusting maggot? Your wordless hide is mine. <laughs> opening fire. What? No, don't no, opening no, no, fire. No, 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 opening fire. That was a present. It was a present. All right, take him down. This follow-up gift is lead. Okay, then. Ah. Ow! We have delivered the present. Good job, us. Oh, that's somebody else. Yeah, we stirred up a frenzy. That's someone else's Christmas party. Well, that didn't go so well, did it? <laughs> no. Um... I don't think Santa will be happy about how it went. <laughs> he seems so heartless, too. I'm scared. Maybe this was a mistake, after all. I kind of feel like it, it was a mistake, yeah. Everybody has a couple of snags when they start a new job. They're just getting into the groove of things. You'll figure this out. I don't think those snags usually involve murder. And also not doing what you're supposed to be because you decided that the guy was a dick. But sometimes they do, apparently. He does seem a bit cold, but he is a robot. Does that really count as an excuse, though? Oh, I don't know. There's no point arguing about this. We just need to check on him and see how it goes. 
If worse comes to worse, there's nothing a well-placed wad of buckshot can't handle. Hey now, I'm not advocating violence or anything. I trust we can reach a friendly agreement in the end. No need to kill anybody. Why would you possibly be afraid of Santa? Is, is it because he has a lifeless eyes and no soul and he's... And his hands look perfect for rending the flesh asunder. <laughs> Looks like it's great for peeling back skin. As I said, he just seems so... Cruel. Aloof. Forbidding. Detached. I fear he may toss me into a recycling machine or something for filling. Scary. There's just something about it that strikes me as odd, but I can't quite put my hoof on it. Let's just be careful, okay? My hoof on This it. isn't worth dying for. <laughs> the boat should be waiting for us. Let's go. Like, what, what, did you, what did your family have in stockings normally? Maybe some candy and an orange and an apple. What? They put fruit in your stocking? Yeah. Okay. It's a bit weird. Eh, whatever. I, I guess it's fine, but... I usually ate them. I guess it's smart, but still, feels a bit silly. I saw you docking just now. So, you return safe and in one piece, with your friend in tow. Yep. Please tell me what happened. Good things happen most of the time. Sugarloaf and I put our best foot forward and did the best we could. And also Mike. And Hope. And if anything went wrong, it was Hope's fault. This does not sound convincing. <laughs> Am I to assume you failed to perform your task? If so, you are unworthy of the cause and shall be terminated. <laughs> I'm sorry, what do you mean by terminated? Like, fired? I shall dispose of your remains in the furnace, if there's anything left, of course. Yeah, that sounds about right for this guy. Now, is this how you spread the holiday cheer, Santa? Oh, how very adorable. You sound like a sad child with their precious toy snatched away. Are you going to cry now? You amuse me. <laughs> Why don't I try out my speech options with my hue? I have no speech points. That would simply be a waste of time, as I have already made up my mind. Prepare yourself. The end is here. Well, wait. Now I know. Do not bother me. I will deal with you later. Step aside. Rockhopper. I know this is you in there. I had a feeling. What? Now I know it's you. What? What are you talking about? Who are you? It's Adeline. It may be too late for us. What? Whoa! Ah! What the heck just happened? Santa? Ow! Oh my god! Sugarloaf, no! Sugarloaf exploded! Warning, data corruption. Booting into safe mode. Oh my god, are you okay? No. But, Aldeo, I just had to save you. And I still got a few minutes of power left in me. Are you hurt? I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't have time to warn you. I don't think I'm okay. I think one of your hoofs is lodged inside my lung. <laughs> I'm fine, though. You didn't need to do that. I could have just shot him a lot. Because also all he had was a stun baton, so... <laughs> and you didn't have to help me come here in the first place. I just thought it was fair. You called Santa Rockhopper? You knew each other? I didn't think we did, but after thinking about it, I can try to explain if you want. Before we do that, can we repair you so you got a functioning body? There's no need to worry about it. I still have some time. We can still talk for a little longer. My friend. Oh, oh okay. Damage does seem pretty extensive. I can't feel my legs. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to move them, but... <laughs> They are not responding. Oh, they ain't there. God. Most of them blew apart. Okay, well, what are we going to do now? I can tell my power source is running out. So, I'd like to come clean and tell you about what happened. I know you must have questions. Let me sort through my data banks. I got a lot of questions. Many, many moons ago, I was a human and in love. My name was Adelie. And my partner's name was Rockhopper. We've name. known each other since childhood and had so many plans together. Oh, these are the pictures. The biggest one was to sail around the world. But one fateful day, we were ambushed and attacked while fueling the boat. They were fearless and we were unprepared. Rockhopper scared them off, although not before they did some serious damage. I was badly wounded and close to death. But being really smart, he had a plan to save me. <laughs> Aware that my body was too weak 
he transferred my brain to the only body he had available. A dog. <laughs> Where he found it, I guess I'll never know. I was shocked and confused. I appreciated being saved, of course, but I couldn't tell him. It became harder and harder to understand each other. Eventually, he left, saying it was good he had transferred me to a dog because I was being such a bee. Well, you know. We never saw each other again. My dog body wouldn't last long either. What? I was weak and sick. I thought I would die without ever explaining what I felt to my only love. Rock Hopper sounds like a dick! But a kind old man found me, saved me, and nursed me back to health. We were happy, and he transferred me to my current body before passing on. What an improvement! I decided I'd try to find out what had become of Rock Hopper. And finally, after much investigating, I found out he lived here, in Trinity Point. Thinking about all of this is... It's been a long time, but... It still stings. Please give me a moment, dear. Well, Sugarloaf, that was quite the story you told us. Yeah, definitely was. Oh, see, they're like different shoes. Get it? Okay, okay. Oh, uh, it's all falling together now. That's about it. I'm sorry that I kinda sorta lied to you, but I wasn't sure if... If he'd be here or not. Okay, still... I hadn't seen him like this. A lot of questions. You did just kill your boyfriend, just now. You can't really say it was him anymore. He's more machine now than man. Twisted and evil. He was never cruel like that. What I loved about him. It's all gone now. That's why he... He left me. We both died in our separate ways. It is as it is. Hold up a second. You said he wasn't cruel when he was a human, yet he turned you into a dog and then left you because you annoyed him. Kind of seemed like, yeah, same guy. So what exactly was the problem after you were put into the dog body, couldn't talk, or... Or you were a dog, which is kind of a problem. Bestiality is a sin. Pretty much, yeah. We tried, really. I wanted to learn to write, but I was too clumsy and it took too long. Because you had no thoughts! I don't blame him for losing patience. He was always much smarter than me. Gotta be honest. I knew I could never really be smart enough. I'd shrug if I could. So... Imagine that I'm shrugging here. <laughs> okay, I'm imagining that you're shrugging. Mike has minimal training and he put a human brain into a fully functioning sex bot. My central processing unit is actually an organic human brain. Rock Opera encased it in this special bio gel to keep it fresh, you know? And later on, the old man who rescued me perfected it. That's why I was wearing a hat earlier. Gotta avoid getting a headache. Those are never fun. So, we tracked Rockhopper all the way down here? Yeah. Just asked around. I don't know why I didn't give up earlier. It has been a very long time. Normally, he would have died of old age long ago. I figure he... He was more sensible than me, and assumed I'd be dead by now. I wonder what we would have looked like as an old couple. Probably like dried out ghouls. Maybe it's better not to know. Why would he assume you're dead? I'm sorry. I understand you're being angry. But, try to see the bright side. Now you can be sure I'll never do it again. Dark humor. <laughs> God. Are you sure there isn't anything I can do? Really, I don't mind. Who wouldn't want to die with a friend by their side during the, the most wonderful time of the year? I can think of plenty of better things to do with friends at Christmas other than dying. Yeah, like... Eat a cookie, or beat up some homeless people. So I guess this is the end of it, huh? Yeah, I am out of time. The biogel encasing my central processing unit is leaking all over. Mike, don't step on Circuitry it. Circuitry is on the frets, but I am at peace. Take care of yourself, you hear? Thank you for everything, and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas! Or Happy Holidays, whichever you prefer. <laughs> Whatever one doesn't offend you. You should. Cover your eyes. No, Sugarloaf, you can't leave us! Why should I close my eyes? Ow! Hooray, happy Christmas! Sugarloaf's brain gel is on the floor. Yeah, see, there's the dog. Oh, no. Yeah, there's the dog, and... Oh. That's unrelated. <laughs> yeah. 
and, and there's a picture of them. Yep. And there's the Toblerone that they enjoyed together. Aw, oh, the last Toblerone that they had together. It's definitely been a Christmas adventure. I don't know what to say about this. Santa was a jerk. Wait, what's this? Oh, he's got a bunch of bad poetry oh, here. Oh, these are, these are poems for, uh... Dear the love of my life, I love you like a wife. I don't mean to be a hog, I've turned you into a dog. <laughs> <laughs> I started fake laughing at that and then it got really funny. <laughs> Dearest love, you're the light of my life. I always want you in my life. You can't I, rhyme life with life. I, I hope we never get into a fight, and I hope your bark is worse than your bite. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas! Warning. This message will self-destruct. Now playing. Hello, dear. If you're hearing this, it means you finally found me. But since this recording is set to play only once I've died, listen up. All right. I'm about to undergo surgery to become a robot. We parted ways years ago, and I'm too old to keep searching for you. But <laughs> as a robot, it'll be easier. <laughs> if I don't survive, know I did this for you. Because I love you. And I will never give up until I meet you again and apologize for my mistakes. I am sorry I deserted you. You trust me, and I let you down. Aww. The thought haunts me to this day. Please, come back. I need you. Machine is ready. Time to do this. In my 65 years on this earth, I've never shied away from a challenge. And I'm not about to start now. I love you. Don't forget that. We will meet again someday. No, either in this life or in the great beyond. This message will now self-destruct. Charging data in three... Two, Wait, self-destruct is in my pit boy ah! I was laughing earlier because he seemed like a jerk, but now I listen to that message and kind of feel a little bit of empathy for him. Maybe he wasn't a complete dick biscuit. I don't know, I'm still leaning heavily towards dick biscuit. Alright, yeah, we'll just pretend he's a dick biscuit. I found an interesting book the other day. It's in Spanish, but apparently it's called 100 Songs to Slit Your Wrist. <laughs> what? And came bundled with a small dictionary. The title amused me, considering how good I seem to have become at moping around. Translating the songs, with some artistic liberties, gives me something to do. Adelaide would have liked many of the lyrics. So I will start saving some passages from here, so I can show them to her. I've also finished knitting the hats for the penguins. <laughs> but they do not seem to like them so much. Only a few have them. Perhaps it is because I cannot see color. So I may have chosen a bad combination. I do not understand why they would rather be cold, but then again, I'm not a penguin. So I can't really criticize their fashion choices. I do prance about in this stupid suit, after all. At least the hat keeps my central processing unit safe from the elements. By central processing unit, do you mean brain as well? And he made this house comfortable for Adelie. Whenever he manages to finally find her- No, stop tearing at my heart streaks! Eh, whatever. She will hear my words someday. I will tell her how much I regret that horrible night, and how hard I have looked for her. And she will nod, and it will all be alright again. At least, that's how I wish things would go when I lay on the bed upstairs, staring at the ceiling, thinking about her! You got me a sword for Christmas! I always wanted a sword! Yeah, yeah, yeah! It's called a rapier, and it's fancy. Woo-ha! Yeah, 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 I am Zoro! Zoro, Zoro, faster than light. Sa, 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 ha, no one you see is faster than he. Si bueno! <laughs> That's a really cool disguise, though. Nothing puts me in the Christmas spirit like being Zoro! <laughs> well, we've solved the mystery. Oh, let's see the present that she left us. Ah, oh, shit! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I dropped a sugar loaf toy in the water! I saw that! <laughs> Uh, so welcome to Frank's Rock Emporium. We got your finest rocks. <laughs> rocks of all shapes and sizes. You wanna follow me over this way? We have, uh, these are the discount rocks. <laughs> right here. You should check out the discount rocks, really. I mean, there's there's nothing really wrong with them. They're just discounted. It's a end-of-season sale. Back over there, we got the buy one, get one rock pile. So you just, you know, <laughs> buy one rock, get one rock. Oh, this here is my wife, Henrietta. <laughs> Dinner will be ready in like 30 minutes. All right, all right, honey, thanks. So anyway, yeah, uh, <laughs> lots of fine rocks. We got some granite. We got some sandstone. 
Personally, I like to go with a, a granite, really. That's always a good fallback, I agree. Yeah, I also really like dolomite. You got a good taste in rocks, my friend. Yeah, dolomite's a nice one. It's got a good spotting to it. Rose quartz is really popular with the ladies, so, you know, <laughs> if you're looking for a rock for your, your lady friend, I'd go with a definitely like a rose quartz. All right. Well, you got me a rose quartz for our anniversary. I loved it. Just give me a shot if you need anything, but it'll probably take me a minute to get there. <laughs> it will do. All right, thanks. Thanks for shopping at Frank's Rock Emporium. I can see the sales sign that says discounted, but the price you're covering up is even lower. Yeah. You okay. raised the prices for the Christmas, and now you're pretending it's a sale. Wait, am I talking to you? You're the tall green thing, right? You're kind of blind, aren't you? I have not worn my glasses today, no. Maybe you should ask Santa for a new pair, except he can't deliver them because he's dead now. Oh, wait, did you kill Santa? Get out of my store! <laughs> Get out! Get out now! I don't sell the Santa killers! That's actually a fair policy! Goodbye! <laughs> Welcome back to the Mojave, Splorch. <laughs> Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Zoro! 